um, got a bit of an interesting one today. So we're going to be installing a Paxton on this gate at a school, the Paxton door entry system um, with a couple of readers um, and an exit button, but it's a bit of a far run for the exit button. So I'm going to show you what we're doing. Um, we're going to be installing it in this box here. So I'll just spin it around. So everything's going to be getting housed in here, the Paxton unit. Um, we're going to be running the power from in the school down there. We've got some lads taking up the slabs now to drop the cable in. So they're going to be digging us a trench to get it all dropped in. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Lads decided to turn up now. So we're just stressing out this here, the ducting, get it ready to get the cable in back to the office. Just setting up the box now. So just setting up the packs done. So we're gonna mount it in here. Then we're gonna come through the bottom here. I'm gonna cut a hole in a minute, put that through there, and then come up through the back there. Get some duct and the power cable as well. Long enough, yeah? <laughs> yeah, we could stretch that back to mine. Right, so we've got all the readers in. So we've got all the cable, dragged them through there, cut a hole in the side of this box, I'll show you that in a sec. So we've got all the readers up and on. Obviously they're a little bit out of level, but it's the best we could do with this little bit of fencing on this side. We've got the cable in for the mag. Um, so we've got all the cables down to here, into this board here, well, into this meter box. Um, we haven't got the steel in yet. Dad's gone to get the steel. Um, and then we're going to pull the steel in but what I'm going to do, I'm going to start wiring the Paxton now um, and then I'll talk you through how you wire it and everything you're going to make the steel off now? alright then cool, so yeah when you get a Paxton P50 reader, they come with an RJ45 connection on, you cut the RJ45 connection off strip it back and then you've left with these colours. So then what you do is, because we've got two re readers, you can wire them in parallel. So I literally just twist the colours together and then it's pretty self-explanatory. So you've got your keypad emblem there and you literally you just follow the colours. So I'm going to wire this in now and then I'll show you this when it's done. And then we're going to wire in the mag lock in a bit and I'll also show you that. Right, so we've wired the keypad all in there. Um, as you can see, I've followed all the colours and literally follow all of them. Can't go wrong. All in and I've wired them in parallel like I said. And if you're not an electrician, that just means side by side. And series means one after the other. So pretty simple to be honest. Uh, I was using these strippers here, Bizline. Bloody sharp, kept cutting the cables on me, but they're good strippers really good strippers so they're my tool of the day to be honest they're class um, and like, I've had loads of big ones like big um, cutters and they, they do the job but they can just be a little bit bulky sometimes and like a little pair that you know just fit in your hands nice so yeah this is my tool of the day today we're going to um, we're going to be putting on a few spur here the few spurs can control the Paxton which is outside at the gate obviously you've seen earlier now, we're going to be running it in a 2.5 steel wire armour, it's only going to be pulling one amp. I've got a measurement here already of 0.55 um, ohms. So, the only thing we're going to have to do is to eat an MEM board, but it's a type ACRCD. So we will be changing that to a type ARCD to comply with the regulations. Usually we'd put a few spur of an RCD on it, but we can't because it's the children in this school. Let's just press it and turn it off. So basically, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we are going to put a, a non switch view spur there, and on the outside of the wall, we're going to come into the steel in a into an adaptable whisker box. 
which we will earth as well, so we can have a parallel path. Which, as long as we earth it the other, as long as we earth one side or the other, that complies with regulations. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Yeah? As you heard my um, dad talking about putting a few spur here. Now the reason we're putting the few spur here is because when they come to do the fire alarm, they can link it in with here with a relay. They'll put a relay somewhere. And obviously we can't get into the fire alarm system because it's under contract and it's a closed protocol system and we're not allowed to mess with it. So we put a caveat in saying that we're not responsible for putting it under the fire alarm system. So in case of a fire, obviously that gate out there possibly is on the fire escape route and we're not gonna be responsible for putting it on the fire alarm. Now we've also put a few spur at, in the unit up there as well. And the reason we've put two few spurs in line is because so they can isolate it up there if they need to do any work or any maintenance. So what we're gonna do now, my dad's gonna get the few spur in here and then obviously, like you said, we're gonna put a whisker box on the other side and then we'll show you the finished product at the end. Because the So we're just wiring up the mag lock. Um, what you've got to do is you've got to get a link, take it from the 12 volt there and put it into the common. And then what we're going to do now is then we're going to wire the outgoing cable to the mag lock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double up some of the cores. So where's my strippers? There they are. So I'm just going to strip this back. So, I'm going to dub them in now. So, obviously, this is going to go to my zero volts. Just going to get that in there. And then this is going to go to normally closed <coughs> for a mag lock. Obviously, it all depends upon what you're using, what kind of strike clock you're using, because we're using a mag lock here, we're gonna put it to normally closed. So the mag lock's wired up on this side, and then obviously once I get to the mag, I'll wire up the puzzle and the neg and the mag, and then that should all work. Um, obviously, once it's all powered up and everything, I'll show you it working. I've also got a wire in the exit button, but I haven't got to that yet because we're waiting for the lads to finish off the trench so then I can pull the cable through the duct, drop it all down, make sure it's the right length and then I'll wire it into here. And we're going to check that it's working because I've never ran it at... <coughs> Sorry. I've never ran it at 100 metres before a push exit button. So I rang up Paxton. Paxton didn't really give me much information on it, even though their actual customer service is really good, they didn't give me much information on what to do. How are you getting on? Well, I've got to do the ring, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, yeah. all the same, anyway. You know. Okay, sound. Just put that onto, tap that onto the earth for me. Yep, sound. All right, get this in. Pouring up the mag lock. Obviously these are the cables that are wired down there into the Paxton. So I'll ferrule them all off, get a good connection on them. Now I've got to wire this in. As you can see, there's quite a few cables because you can wire this differently, monitored, unmonitored, 24 volts and 12 volts. But if you just refer to your manufacturer's instructions, it'll tell you how to wire it, in what way, for what scenario you're using it for. So I'm gonna get this wired up now, get it all banged in. Also, I forgot to mention, um, we're going to be wiring in an exit as well, a push exit. So, I'm not going to be wiring it in with the actual cable that comes with it because of how far the distance is. Now, to wire up one of these, you take your black cable, your zero volts, you grey to your exit, and then you take your green and your red to up here with your reader. 
So green there, red there, pretty simple. But what, what we've got to do is we've got to run a cable quite far. So if you see where that defibrillator is over there, we've got to get the push exit cable all the way over there. Now, we've never run it at this distance before. Spoke to Paxton about it. Obviously, they said if it was a reader, they've got a special cable that can go up to 100 meters, but with an exit button, they were like, they're not sure. So, obviously, all the exit doors, is it leaks out these two here, basically, shorts them two together and opens the gate. Um, but obviously, then it's carrying the voltage from here to light up the green button on the Paxton exit. So what we're going to do first is we've got the cable all laid out here. We're going to wire it up there, put the push exit, push, uh, push exit on the end, and then test whether it works before we pull it in the duct team and send it over to there and get it into the office. I've temporarily wired it into the, the switch. Quickly, rise up. See? So temporarily wired it into the switch. Then what I've done is I have joined the cable here and this is the push exit. They come with a little black case as well, so there's an exit on them, little neon that lights up in there. But I've temporarily twisted them together. As you can see, there's the cable and how long the distance is. So just waiting for my dad to wire it up. Gonna go and check on him now. And then once he's wired it up down there, we can power it up and check it all, make sure it works before we drop it in the ground. So we've checked it now. As you can see, the neon's in it. I just pressed it so you can hear it kicking in. So we know that it works at this distance now. Um, so we're gonna get it in, get the ducting in. Um, we're gonna use this to suck some string down the tube. So we're gonna use the IB for bus to suck it down the tube and get it done. So we're gonna to attempt to suck this string up this long distance here. Now, as you'll see, once I get up there and turn around, um, we've got a bit of string with a little flagger tape on the end. So let's see if it works. <laughs> Trying to land the plane. Yeah, man. Probably got caught in one of the ridges. Yeah, man. Yes, we're through. So it bust. Ah, huh? yeah, I will do. So I'm going to show you how we um, enroll the uh, fobs now. So it's pretty easy, pretty simple. So you'll get up in the side of the pack. This is what the pack. This is the box that you'll get. To be honest, I've already registered a fob up to check, but so you get this enrollment pack, and inside the enrollment pack, you'll have multiple different cards that all do different things. Now, the one that you're going to want is the enrollment card. So, when I get it out, come on. Right, so then all you do, literally, there's a the fobs. I'm going to take one of these fobs now with the card. Present this to the reader, your enrollment card. Then you take this card out, present this card, and it will stop beeping now. Now, when I present this fob now, it will open the mag. There you go. And it's the same on the other side as well, so it will roll them on both. So. Also, I never showed you the mag lock that I'd put on. Um, obviously, I put a bracket and everything on it. My boy, you put in the bracket and everything. Up, but basically, that's a setup that we've got. Um, I've got to put a gasket and a lid over this. Um, but yeah, we're getting there now. We've got the button down there. I'll give you a quick show of that in a sec. But it's all come together now. 
So I'm just going to enroll the rest of these fobs um, and then I'll give you a, a walk around the job and show you the exit button and how we got it there, etc. Um, and also, if you want to take a fob off, you show your function card or well, your enrollment card again to the reader, then you show the card that's with this fob and then it will take it off the system. Um, you get a little pen as well with this so you can write who you've given it to. Obviously, I'm not going to write it on because I don't know what staff members they're giving it to. Also, you get another card um, so you can literally set the time, how long it opens for when you show the fob. You show the show the card, then you wait as, for the time that you want it to stay open for, show the function card again, and then it'll open for that amount of time. And also you've got a silent operation so you don't hear no beeping. And also there's one for a fire alarm as well if you need it, if you're going to be running, in, running it into the Paxton unit, but we're not doing that. So yeah, that's it. A walk around the job because it's all done now so literally i've just got to change the rcd to type a um it was all tested yesterday but i'm going to test it again because we're going to be changing the rcd um so yeah we put down some tape as well obviously because you have to so we put all the tape down and when the lads come and sink this in um they'll put the tape on top that's why i'll pull it down instead of giving them the roll because if i give them the roll it won't go down but if i put the tape down i know i'll put it down so we've run it all along here even though this is low voltage in the ducting um i'll still put it down so runs all the way around here down here and then we've got a bit of conduit that comes up in the office and drilled through there and directly behind there is the keypad um, not the keypad, sorry, the exit button. And then we've jointed, the, like the cable I showed you earlier, the alarm cable, we've jointed that in here with that. Um, I felled it all off and put it in some push fits. Um, so this is the exit button we've put in. It's lit up with a green LED. This is a Paxton um, push button as well. Um, bespoke for their systems. So when I press this, the gate should swing open out there. There's a little flash to say it's opening and yeah that's open so all done now who said sparkies don't clean up spotless in the bottom of there i left a little gap down there as well in case any water gets in so we can drain out but all done so i'm gonna go and hand the keys back now um and i'm done for the day but the job's all done now um thanks for watching I hope you've all learned something and if for the sparkies that are out there that have not done a door entry or never used a pack then I hope you've learned how to put one in or you've got a bit more knowledge on it but thanks for watching please subscribe and like thank you